Hello there everybody, I am Tadashi Mori and in this video here I will show you how to make this origami Fury Dragon version 2 by Kadechan. And before we start the video I'd like to say two things. First, if you want to support the origami artists, go to my Patreon page, the link is right here. So you can show your support and help them keep creating these new and cool origamis. And second, if you want to send me a message, go to my Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash tadashiorigami. There I answer all the messages I get in my inbox, it may take a while, but I try to answer everyone, and I don't know, you can go there to send any important message or just to say hi. And you may have noticed, this origami here is my brand new design, and it's an origami Charizard, and it's probably going to be my next tutorial. Okay, so let's start! So, in case you're using a paper with color only on one side, this side here is going to be the colored side. So, start by folding the paper along the diagonal, like this. Now, fold here the paper in half again, in this direction here. Now, unfold the paper. So, the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to fold here, making this point go up to the middle line. But you're just going to pinch here this tip just to mark the middle point. Okay, and the model will look like this. Now do the same thing here on the other side. here, unfold the paper, and the model will look like this. Now you're going to fold this point here, up to this mark we just made on the other side, okay unfold and do the same thing here on the other side. And unfold the paper. So, the model will look like this. Okay, so now you're going to fold here, making this line here go up to this line here. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And you're going to fold only up to the middle line. Okay, so only until you get to this point here. Now do the same thing here on the other side. And unfold the paper. So the model will look like this. Alright, now you're going to fold here making this point here go up to this line here. Okay, so fold all the way down, like this. Okay, so the model will look like this. Now do the same thing here, on the other side. So, fold this point up to this line here. like this, and again fold all the way. So the model is going to look like this. So I just made here the lines a little bit stronger for you to see the reference points. Now you're going to divide here these two columns 
in four parts. So you just have to divide here in half twice. So like this, you're going to fold here this column in half like this now unfold and fold each line in half one more time okay so it's going to look like this now fold here the other line in half again. All right. Now the model is going to look like this. So do the same thing here on the other side. I'm going to fast forward this part because you don't need any further explanation to make this part. And the model is going to look like this. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in here on this part. And you're going to fold like this. So fold here along this line here, the second line. Okay. The model is going to look like this. Now fold here this tip up to the first line. So, the model is going to look like this, fold strongly, like this, and unfold. So, the line should look like this. Now you're going to do the same thing here. So, valley fold along the fourth line. Okay, so this line here. And make here this small fold on the tip again. Unfold the paper and the model will look like this. So now you're going to open here the side of the model like this and you're going to make here a valley fold along this line here spreading both layers like this and press here the top part of the model okay folding this small triangle you have here and now you're going to squash the model on this part here okay and you're going to make here a mountain fold and a valley fold on the next lines. Okay, so the model should look like this. Now, on the other side, you should do the same thing. Okay, so just make here the mountain fold and the valley fold along these big lines, and the model will look like this. Okay, so now you're going to do the same thing here on the next line. So carefully make here a valley fold along this first line here. Now squash the top of the model like this. And you're going to squash here the top part like this. And again, make here the mountain fold and the valley fold along the next lines. Turn the model over and do the same thing here on the other side. So 
So the model will look like this. So, in this part here, I'm going to zoom in the model a little bit. And we are going to work here on these small layers. So, you're going to fold here, making the side of this tip here go up to this line here. Okay, now you're going to unfold and this part here is going to be a little bit difficult. In short, you're going to make here an open sink fold, so it's something like this. You're going to do this a lot of times in this origami, so it's better if you get used to it. So first you're going to spread here the model a little bit. And make here a mountain fold along this line, this, this one, and this line here. So basically you're just reversing, inside reversing this, this last fold we made. And visually it's going to be like this. You have to sink here the middle, the model the middle of this fold here. It's a little bit hard to explain, but once you get used to it, it's, it's actually not that hard. Okay, so the model should look like this. So, I just reverse folded to inside the last fold we made. Okay. So, now you're going to do the same thing here on the next, next layer. So, just fold here the tip like we did before and make an open sink. Okay, so the model is going to look like this. Now turn the model over and do the same thing here on this side. So I'm going to fast forward this part, but I'm doing here exactly the same thing. So just fold the tip and make a non pin sink. Okay, so do the same thing here on both layers. And the model will look like this. Okay, so now let me zoom out. And you're going to do the same thing here on the other side. So again, I'm going to fast forward this part because it's exactly the same thing, just Make here a sequence of valley folds and mountain folds along these parallel lines, spreading the top part, and make the small inside reverse folds on all layers. And in the end, the model will look like this. 
Okay, so now you're going to open here the middle part and make here a mountain fold along this V-shaped line and the middle line. So it's going to be like this. You have to spread here both layers, okay? So you're going to do the same thing on both sides. And after you spread both layers like this, the model should lie flat, okay, and it will look like this. So now you're going to fold here this flap, you're going to open it, okay, and squash the model like this. So, now we are going to work here on this flap here, on the right flap. And you are going to open again. Now you are going to fold here this side up to the middle line like this, making this line here go up to the middle line. So it's going to be like this. Do the same thing here on the other side. Now unfold both sides like this and make here a fold upward, okay, making a valley fold from this point up to this point here. So just fold here both layers to inside and it's going to look like this. Okay, so the model should look like this. Now you're going to fold here this flap downward and fold one layer to the right. So the model will look like this. As you can see, the right side is going to look like this. Now turn the model over and you're going to do the same thing here, but Instead of the right side, we are going to fold the left side. So it's exactly the same thing up to this point here. But on this part, we're going to work here on the left side. So you're going to open here this flap. Fold here the sides up to the middle line. And fold this middle layer upward like this. So we just made the same thing. Now fold here this layer downward, this flap downward, fold one layer 
to the left. Okay, and the model will look like this. Now let's work on the remaining flaps. So, we are going to do almost the same thing here on this flap. So, start the same way, opening this flap. Fold the sides to the middle line. Okay, unfold, fold here, this layer upward. And this is going to be the different part. Instead of just folding this flap downward, you're going to fold here once. And you're going to fold this flap to inside. So, fold here once again, just to make the crease stronger. And you're going to pull both sides like this. And as you can see, this flap is going to go to inside. So, just carefully fold everything to inside and the model is going to look like this okay so here you can see the difference okay so this one here the flap is downward and the other one is reverse folded to inside so, now you're going to do the same thing here. So, open the flap. So, I'm going to make it faster, but it's the same thing. Just fold the sides of the flap to, to the middle, to, up to the middle line. And adjust here the tip. Just like this. Fold the flap downward and reverse fold. Inside reverse fold. Okay, and the model will look like this. In this part here, you're going to fold this pack of layers to the left, just make it easier to make the next fold. So, fold this line here up to this line here. Now, unfold, and again, you're going to make an open sink. Actually, I don't know if the name is inside reverse fold or open sink, but basically, you're just going to reverse the fold we just made. So as you can see, I'm just making here a mountain fold along the, the lines we just made. And reversing the middle. So the model is going to look like this. Now, we are going to do the same thing here, on the other side. So, just fold the side of the paper up to the middle line. Unfold. And inside reverse.
and the result is going to look like this. Now hold the model like this and spread these layers Okay, and do the same thing here on the other side So the model will look like this Now open here the side and we're going to fold here but be careful so these layers are divided evenly, okay? So, as you can see, the middle should look like this. Now fold here this tip downward. And do the same thing here on the other side. So, the model will look like this. Now fold here, all these layers upward, and in this part here, be careful, because as you can see, this part here is different from this side here. Okay, so the model will look like this in the middle, and not like this. Okay, so if you see this, just turn the model to the other side. So, let me show again. If you fold here, these layers upward, just turn the model over and you should be okay. So, now you're going to fold here all these layers upward and squash here the middle part. Now, turn the model over again and fold this flap downward. Now, fold here, making this line go up to the middle line. So, do the same thing here on all sides. Now fold this flap upward. Okay, the model is going to look like this. Turn the model over. And fold everything in half like this. Okay, so now let's work here on the wings. So, pull here this flap to this direction here. As you can see, you're going to pull the flap all the way upward. And you're going to press here, squash the model in this part. And fold to the side like this. Okay, so now you're going to fold this flap downward, back. The model will look like this. Okay, so turn the model over and do the same thing here on the other side. So, pull this flap all the way upward, squash this small flap and fold the wing downward again. So. Let's work again on this side. So, in this point here, you're going to fold all these layers, okay, so making this line here go up to this line here. 
you're going to fold all the layers together. Like this. Squash here the side. The model will look like this. Now you're going to fold here only the inner layer downward. Okay, so you're going to leave one layer folded and the other layer is going to be unfolded. So now you're going to make one thing called closed sink and it's going to be like this. You're going to press here this point of this layer and at the same time you're going to make a mountain fold along this line here. So you're basically going to reverse fold but it's a closed sink, so as you can see, you're folding all the layers together. Okay, so you just made here a closed sink. And inside is going to look like this. So you're going to turn the model over and do the same thing here on the other side. So again, I'm going to fast forward this part. And basically, I'm just making the same thing. So fold here all the layers upward. Fold one layer downward and make a closed sink. And the model will look like this. Okay, so turn the model over and now we are going to continue working on the wings. So let me zoom in here a little bit. Fold this flap upward again. The model will look like this. Now pull here only this back layer upward all the way up. So you're going to pull only up to this point here. Okay. And squash this top part. So, the model is going to look like this. Now, here on this small flap, you're going to press here everything. You're going to squash this tip along the middle line, like this. This fold is called rabbit ear fold. And it's not really hard to make it. So, now you're going to make an outside reverse fold along this point here. So let me show you how to make it. It's easier than explaining. So as you can see, I just reverse it, this tip from the outside, okay? And you're going to make another outside reverse fold here, a small one. Only on the tip. And the model will look like this. This is going to be the hand. So let's continue here working on the wings. So you're going to fold here only one layer, okay, only this inner layer. Aligning the side of this inner layer with the side of the wing. So it's going to look like this. Okay, and at the same time you're going to make here a valley fold from this point to this point here.
So the model is going to look like this. Now fold here. This, the side of the wing here, this side, to inside, like this, aligning these two lines. Okay, so the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to fold here the wing to the right again. And at the same time you do this, you're going to spread here to open this bottom part of this inner layer here. So align this line with this small line here. So let me show you, it's going to be easier to just see the result. Okay, so it should look like this. It's a little bit hard to explain with words because you just have to make too many folds at the same time. But the result should look like this. Okay, so let's do the same thing here on the other side. So fold the wing upward, pull here one layer, the back layer all the way up. Now you're going to fold this inner layer this front layer up to this point and make a valley fold like this okay so I forgot to make the arms so let's do it now just pinch and make here a rabbit ear fold and I will leave the details for later now let's keep making the wing so fold the side of the wing here like this and then fold to inside aligning these two lines and fold the wing to the left aligning this small layer. Okay, now the hands we are going to make here an outside reverse fold. Okay, and another outside reverse fold to make the arms. So the model is going to look like this. Now, turn the model over and we are going to open here the bottom part of the origami a little bit and fold these two layers downward like this. Okay. And squash the model again. Now, fold here, making a valley fold exactly along this point here. Okay, so you're going to fold this point to the right. And unfold. Now make a fold, making this line here go up to this line here. Now unfold and now you're going to inside reverse this fold. To do it you're going to reverse fold this last fold we just made and just open the model a little bit and as you can see I'm making here a mountain fold along this last fold we made. So you're going to make here another mountain fold, the next lines and the model will look like this.
Okay, so now you're going to open here a little bit and fold making this line here go up to this line here. Unfold and you're going to make here an open seam fold again along this line here. So just open the model a little bit and inside reverse this fold we just made. So, the model should look like this now. Now, turn the model over and do the same thing here, on the other side. So, just fold here. Unfold and make an open sink. Now, the model should look like this. Turn the model over, and you're going to fold here this flap to the right, and do the same thing behind. Okay, so now you're going to fold here this flap, up to this point here, okay, unfold, you're going to open here this pocket and reverse fold along the last fold we just made, and the model will look like this. Now we are going to work here on this flap. So, you're going to open this small flap here and squash the model. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And you're going to fold here this inner layer aligning with the middle line like this. So, do the same thing here on the other side. and try to align with this middle line. Okay, so adjust here everything and do the same thing on the other side. So open this flap fold the inner layers up to the middle line. Okay, so the model is going to look like this. Now, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit just to work on the details of the head. So, first, you're going to fold here one layer downward. So, the model should look like this. Now, fold here this layer to the right, like this.
Now we are going to work on really small details. So, first, fold here. This front layer up to the middle line like this. Do the same thing here on the other side. Now you're going to fold here a small tip, a really small tip, like this. Okay, so do the same thing here. Now you have to open here this really small tip, so you may have to use a pen or maybe a toothpick and open this small part here, this small gap, like this, and do the same thing here on the other side. So, the model will look like this. Now fold here, everything in half. And let me zoom out the camera again. Okay, so now let's work here on the details of the tail. So first, you're going to fold here the tail like this, exactly. Let me show you. So, you're going to fold along this point here. Now, unfold and make this line align with the side of the paper, like this. Fold strongly and unfold. Now, this part here is going to be a little bit tricky to make, so you're going to open the model, like this, and you're going to make here a valley fold along this first line here, the line we just made. Okay, so you're going to fold only up to the first parallel line, like this, pull the paper to the sides, so the model should look like this. Now you're going to turn the model over, and the model will look like this. Now you're going to make here a straight fold at this point here, okay? Now you're going to keep folding, keep pressing here the sides of the paper up to the next parallel line, still pulling the paper to the sides, turn the model over again, and make a straight fold between these two points. Okay, so carefully make this fold. Now keep squashing the sides until you get to the next parallel line. Turn the model over again and make this last straight fold here. And the model will look like this. Okay, so now you're going to open here like this and fold this big flap downward like this, this triangle downward like this. Now fold here, this flap in the middle, like this. Now you're going to fold making the middle line align with these other two lines. So as you can see you're going to have three points here on the tip, okay? and fold 
this inner layer like this. The model will look like this. So, do the same thing here on this layer. Okay, and the origami is almost done. Now you're going to open here this layer and you're going to fold making the side of the paper, this side align with this line here. Now unfold and again you're going to make here an open sink fold. So I'm not explaining again how to make this open sink fold because uh, as I said, you had to make it a lot of times, and at this point, I guess, you already know how to make it. So, that's it. Just make here an open sink fold. Okay, so the model is going to look like this. Now, turn the model over and do the same thing here. So, open this flap, fold this layer apart like this, unfold and make an open sink. Okay, so the model should look like this right now. Now let's just make here some other details. So you're just going to pull here one layer and align this bottom part of the layer with the top part of the tail. And fold like this. This folds just to hide the white part of the paper. So you're just covering here the white part with the front layer. So do the same thing here on the other side. And the model will look like this. So the model is almost done, but now we are going to work here on the details. First, on the legs. So the legs actually easy to make. So just inside reverse here. So hold the leg like this and inside reverse, but be careful so you spread the layers evenly. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Now you're going to make here another inside reverse really close to the first one so the legs going to look like this now make here another reverse fold like this so just hold here the tip and fold forward like this now you're going to spread this three layers you have inside. Okay, so the legs done. Now do the same thing here on the other side. So just make here to reverse fold 
to inside reverse fold and hold the tip and fold forward. Now spread these three layers. And the leg is done. Okay, so that's it. Now let's work here on the neck. So open here, the neck in the middle like this. And you're going to make here two mountain folds along these lines here. So as you can see, a V-shaped fold really close here to the arms. Okay, so it's going to be aligned with the arms. And you have to make here another fold really close to the first one. Okay, making the neck points upward like this. Okay, so now, as you can see, the neck is pointing upward. So you have to open here again, make now a mountain fold. Now you can make it a straight line like this. And another fold, another parallel fold really close to the first one. Okay, so let me show you. Have to make here two parallel folds and close the neck. So it's going to look like this. Now you carefully try to make it point downward a little bit, like this. Right? So just a little bit. Now you have to make it the same thing again. and make it point a little bit more downward. So it's going to look like this. Now you're going to make it another fold here close to the head, just to make the head point a little bit more downward, just like this. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to fold this layer to inside, like this, only up to the first curve, okay? Now, you have to, as you can see, I folded only this first part. Now, the second part, you're going to fold the same way, but trying to make a curve along the neck. So, as you can see, I just made here. So try to fold here in parts, so it's easier for you to make this curve here. Okay, now let's fold this last part. And as you can see, the neck has a really nice curve here. Okay, so turn the model over and do the same thing here. So first fold this first section, now the second one, and the last one. Try to work on the details here really carefully, because the details makes the origami look better in the end. Okay, so the model should look like this right now. Now let's work here on the details of the head. So first fold here, this layer downward. Okay, so you're just going to inside reverse again. Here, really close to the be beginning of the, of the layer. So it's going to look like this. Now make here another inside reverse fold forward like this, really close to the first one. 
So the model is going to look like this. Now make a small fold, a really small fold upward in the tip okay, of the jaw. And fold here. Now this part here, you're going to fold a small tip upward like this. And well, let me zoom in here just for you to see the details of this part. Now let's work here on the detail of the nose. So again, we are going to use the pen and you're going to pull here this inner layer, okay, from the nose and squash the model. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Now do the same thing here on the other side. And squash the model. So the nose is done. So now hold here the model like this and you're going to press here this part making carefully a mountain fold like this. So as you can see it's just a small detail, a really small detail just to make a nice effect of, on the nose and the model will look like this. Okay, so now we are going to work here on the ear. The ear is actually really easy, just fold forward. Then you're going to pinch here the top part making a rabbit ear fold. And that's it. Okay, so do the same thing here on the other side. Okay, and it's done. Now let's work here on the gills. I'm not sure if it's called gills. If it's not, please correct me. So you're going to pull here this layer, okay? So pull this part here downward. Okay. At the same time, you're going to make here, as you can see, you're going to, make, to spread here the layer a little bit. And just press here the bottom part. So after you squash the model, it's going to look like this. Now, just make here small curves, just to give a nice effect. And, well, it's basically going to look like this. So, about my English, if you find anything, I don't know, maybe strange in the way I speak, please correct me, because well, it's really hard to, to practice as I live in Brazil, so we don't speak English here. So, let's continue. Now, make here a small curve on this top part, on this top layer. Okay. Just like this. And the gills are done. I mean... You have to do the same thing here on the other side. So just pull here this layer, this inner layer, and make small curves. Okay, now make here a curve on the top part. And that's it. Okay, so let's work now on the wings. Well, the wings are not really hard to make. Just fold here. Just make uh, a valley fold like this. Unfold. Okay, just fold strongly. Unfold. 
and now fold this side of the paper up to this first line. Okay, now unfold. And you're going to fold, making this line here go up to this line here. And unfold the paper. Now you have to make here this first valley fold and make a mountain fold really close to the first one. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Right? Now make here the second valley fold and make another mountain fold close to that fold and keep doing this. And you will have this nice wing effect. Now you're going to fold here, make another making another curve. On the wing like this. So it's already done, but we are going to work here on another detail just to make it more similar to the one that Kadechan makes. So just try to fold the whole wing like a fan first. Okay, like this. Okay, so hold this part here and you're going to spread the wings again along the lines we just made. So this part is a little bit confusing to make. But as you can see the result is just to make here this one more detail on the tip of the wing. Okay, so this one is more similar to the one Kadechan makes. Okay? But the other way is also okay. Now let's fold here the other side. So make here three valley folds. Okay, now make here a valley fold and a mountain fold really close to the first fold and keep doing this. Okay, now fold everything like a fan, hold the tip of the wing and spread the wings again. And make here a curve on the front of the wing. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so let me just adjust here a little bit more. Now let's work on the tail. So we are going to make here small parallel folds just like we made on the neck. So just make here a small mountain fold, then a belly fold really close to the first one. And keep doing this along the tail. So let's make here one more. And just one more. Now close the tail. And you're going to make here a curve 
on each of these flaps here. Okay, so just make this curve and close the tail, right, so the tail is done. Okay, so let's work here on the last details. Here on the belly, just try to fold here this small layer to inside. Okay, so do the same thing here on the other side just to make it a little bit more curvy, because real dragons have curves. Okay, and make here the same thing on the neck. So, just make here a, a mountain fold along the neck, like this. You don't have to fold all the way to inside, okay? It's just to make a, a small effect, giving volume to the neck and that's it okay so the model is done it's not standing but well that's it this one here I made with a little bit more patience working more on the details and well here you can see how the details should look Okay, so this one also don't have the, the lines made with pen. So that's it. If you like this video to support my work, please do not forget to click on the like button. It helps me a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe in my channel. So thanks for watching this video. See you. Bye bye.